Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for all the likes on the video. I see those. I appreciate it. You are my motivation to keep me going. All right, let's get to what's going on. You got things to do, so I want to get into a couple features here. I want to show you the possibility of development out of this, and look at the tail end of that right there. And then this here, that's the tropical wave that is moving into the Caribbean, and that will set the stage for overall wetter weather headed our way uh, over the next month or so, so uh, at least, but we need to get there. It's a long haul for some of us. We've been so dry in many locations, but what's going on here is we have this tail end of the system. As we were talking about together about four days ago, that everything on track, that system lifted to the north, and this is what I was showing you, that tail end, that it would get some of us. We've seen the rain, uh, for example, over toward the Dominican Republic, we may see some of that over toward uh, Puerto Rico as the day goes on. And then other spots, some heavier rain, Guyana and Suriname. That's with a tropical wave, and that's going to move very close and move into Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and then across the Caribbean. Now, this happens this time of year. Here's Africa. Here we are in the Caribbean, and you get the trade winds uh, across the globe. You get different winds, dominant winds. This is the same flow that brings us dust, and we've had a lot of dust around. Uh, it is also the same flow that brings these impulses, waves in the atmosphere, uh, areas of showers and storms, and eventually some will start to develop into tropical storms and hurricanes, and we'll track it as we go throughout the uh, upcoming season. It'll be active out there. I did my forecast months ago. You can look back at some previous videos on the upcoming hurricane season, but no telling yet where the storms will exactly go. So let's track what's going on now. There's that tropical wave getting set to move in today, watching scattered showers even into tomorrow in parts of the Northern Caribbean, Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Flare up of rain again near Colombia, too dry Belize and Honduras. I'll detail that in a second. But there's that moisture feeding in as we work our way into our Saturday morning and as we get into Saturday itself, we get some scattered showers and storms. This tropical wave, there's not a lot with it, but this is helpful and I mentioned it is a sign of things to come. And as this moves in on the backside, you get that flow that'll even bring in some showers scattered about as we work our way into Sunday. So not all of us are going to get rain out of this and it's not a consistent rain, but you definitely see more green on the map and that's what we need to see. Guyana and Suriname, we've had too much though, uh, but we're going to look out for more flooding. I'm going to zoom down in a second. I want to get into the rain totals, but St. Lucia, Barbados, we'll get some scattered showers in the next few days down through our Trinidad and still that chance of some spotty showers near the ABC Islands. Jamaica, we're looking at kind of isolated storms. So here's the outlook. I'll, I'll keep a, a wide view right now and then I want to zoom down. You see the outlook, Cuba, not a lot in the way of rain. Jamaica, it would be isolated to scattered thunderstorms. So some of us get rain, others uh, don't. Dominican Republic, some higher totals with the tail end of that system still over the next few days, over 75 millimeters or three inches of rain and watching some of that scattered about Puerto Rico and the US, British and Virgin Islands. But we had some rain over toward uh, Guadalupe, Antigua, Barbuda the last few days, scattered showers around, but there's the surge of moisture that we're watching. Let me zoom down here into the Southeastern Caribbean. So we have Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, and Venezuela. Now, you're seeing some blues and some purple. I mentioned this tropical wave doesn't mean we're going to see just a giant amount of rain moving in. It's going to be scattered, but we've had really nothing for many of us. So scattered rain, if you pick up some rain the next few days, 25 millimeters to about 50 millimeters of rain or one to two inches of rain. I really hope you get some. Uh, some spots have been getting uh, some rain and getting those cisterns on the uh, fuller side. Others, just nothing at all. Here's a zoom down look in Trinidad and uh, Tobago. And this is a good look in Trinidad this is just a computer model. So uh, some of the rain may be here, may not be over here, vice versa. Uh, but it shows us that we'll see some scattered showers. A few of us stay dry and you're like, where's the rain? Well, the rain could be not too far away at all. Scattered showers will be the rule as we go through the weekend. But at least that chance has gone up. And with this tropical wave, it's gone up further in Guyana and Suriname. That's where the heaviest rain will be. We're looking at over 150 millimeters of rain the next three days in spots. That's going to lead to more flooding. Let me know what's going on in Suriname and Guyana, and I'll be tracking it as we go throughout the weekend. This rain here will eventually, or at least this general pattern with the rain down here, will eventually lift up here 
as we get into the month of June, as we really work our way into the wet season. So we're just starting to get into the uh, start of that. Now, there's been more severe weather. Thinking of our friends over toward uh, parts of uh, the Midwest and northern uh, U.S., over toward Iowa, moving into Illinois. Another round of tornadoes had that this morning and another flare-up of rain here. There's this system trying to move its way closer to Bermuda. Looks like it'll mainly just be to the south and east of Bermuda. But look how it stretches all the way down toward Columbia. There's that thin line of rain. And my friends in Mexico, we are so, so dry and hot. If you're dry, you're hot this time of year. Mexico, Belize, uh, over toward uh, Honduras, uh, Nicaragua, uh, we haven't had much. There's been a few showers around uh, parts of our uh, higher terrain, uh, El Salvador and Guatemala. But you see not much going on here. There's that severe weather threat getting closer to Chicago there. And there's that blob there. But I'm not seeing much in the way of development. I'll show you why in a moment. But watching the scattered showers, there's that rain right there. That's the tropical wave moving in. So that will bring us the scattered showers in parts of the Eastern Caribbean as we work our way into the weekend. This is on our Saturday and you see that system kind of just moving to the south and east of Bermuda. And then as we get into Sunday, more action up here, Northern US, Southern Canada. And as this tropical wave uh, moves into the Caribbean uh, on Sunday, we'll see uh, some scattered showers across the Eastern Caribbean. So that is really good news to pass along. Now looking at the winds with this tropical wave, we'll have some gustier winds with it, or at least breezier winds. And then up here, you see that little spin trying to develop, not tropical in nature, but some gustier winds getting closer to Bermuda. Most of those stronger wind gusts should be just to the south and then pulling off to the east once we get into Saturday and Sunday. But you see that breeze picking up and some elevated seas working our way into the eastern Caribbean as we get through the weekend as that next tropical wave moves in. Now, this here's Florida. Here are the Bahamas, just to kind of uh, set the uh, stage for you. This is Bermuda, this red shading in through here, that's high wind shear. And that's why I'm not seeing this area uh, trying to develop into Alberto, which would be the first name of the season. The wind shear is kind of keeping it kind of somewhat ripped apart. It can't kind of wrap up as you would see sometimes in a, a tropical storm or hurricane where it looks very circular. So a lot of wind shear, and that's why we're not seeing much development out of that. I look at what's going on at the surface and above. Now, we're about to get uh, more active, clearly. We're we're almost in the hurricane season, and I do expect at least a couple named storms, one or two, in the month of June, and we're almost there. So I'll be tracking it storm by storm. I know there's a lot of scary forecast out there, but none of the forecasts talk about where the storms will go because we don't know. Uh, you know, there's usually those hot spots where storms get close by all the time. Florida uh, get across the uh, Caribbean, but. Uh, I need to see the overall pattern at the time the storms to de uh, develop to know where they're going to go. Sometimes there's active years, but all the storms stay in the water. Uh, other times there's uh, just a couple storms out there, but then they hit land. So it's a wait and see. And on this channel, just trying to get the facts with the weather and we'll just go storm by storm. I mentioned the first name of the season will be Alberto. Daryl, Chris, Debbie, and Ernesto. And I do believe we'll get way down the list. There's going to be a ton of storms out there. That is that is the bad news. I'm not trying to sugarcoat it, but we don't know where they're going to go at this uh, point. So I will track everything uh, hour by hour as we go through the hurricane season. You see Mexico, uh, too dry, a couple showers and storms near Guatemala and El Salvador. El Salvador off the coast, a couple of those showers and storms. Nothing organized, though, in the eastern Pacific. And you see the rain, not much at all anywhere from Cuba stretching back through uh, Mexico over toward uh, Guatemala. Some of the higher terrain and interior sections seeing some uh, showers and storms but just not widespread yet. But as these tropical waves move into the Caribbean, they move all the way across to Central America. So in June, we'll see that pattern breaking down. Scattered showers here in the Atlantic region of Canada, as expected, very unsettled today. Newfoundland, all the way back toward uh, Quebec. And then as we work our way into tomorrow, you still see some of the rain here, some uh, kind of a cold rain with some snow trying to creep in on the uh, northern side of it. And then as we pull forward into Sunday, Sunday itself, uh, more settled. We'll watch that next system back to the west over toward the Great Lakes. So Jamaica, we're looking at isolated to scattered storms. Still, if you get one, we could get some downpours around. It'll rely on the uh, daytime heating. Cayman Islands, our rain chance will be at 20% through the weekend. You see the rain chance here in Trinidad and Tobago. We're going up to 50% tomorrow. We'll take it. Even scattered showers on 
on Sunday, maybe headed out to a church on Sunday morning, there could be a few showers around. So this is very welcome news, just at least to get some sense of a change uh, moving in the next few days. And this includes uh, many locations. Barbados through the weekend, we have a 50% chance of rain and storms. St. Lucia, we're looking at a 50% chance of scattered showers. And through the weekend in Grenada, it's not a guarantee we get rain, but it is that higher chance a 40 to 50% chance, and we'll have a 40% chance in St. Vin Vincent and the Grenadines, and this has been one of our driest spots we've had in the Caribbean. Martinique, our rain chance at 40%, and we're looking at that 40% chance in Dominica. We've had some showers nearby over the last two days. We'll get a few more, and in Guadeloupe, we have had some scattered showers around, and we'll see another chance as we slide into this weekend as that tropical wave moves in. We get to the north, uh, not quite as much, but still a 30% chance for us in Antigua and Barbuda, St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat. Rain chance does trend up some to 30% on Sunday. Anguilla and St. Bart's, a 30% chance today right through the weekend. 40% chance for tomorrow, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. 50% chance today in Puerto Rico. It just depends on that thin line near the Dominican Republic, how that moves in. But if we do get it, that could lead to some flooding in a few spots in Puerto Rico today. And I'll be watching that line of rain and some storms as well uh, that will get close to the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. We've had the rain already in parts of the Dominican Republic, and we've had flooding around Haiti. Rain chance about 30% the next few days and heating up. The Bahamas, rain chance not super high. Most of the action staying off toward uh, the east. Turks and Caicos, we have had the flooding. This system worked right into the Turks and Caicos. It's been one of our areas of biggest flooding in this system. So thinking of you in the uh, Turks and Caicos with this uh, rain. Belize, we need some rain. Dry, very low air quality. We've had problems all over the place. Now Aruba, I may bump this up a little bit just looking at a few very recent things. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. We're going to see the rain chance getting a touch hotter as we work our way into the uh, weekend. Uh, uh, so uh, it's uh, kind of a close call on some showers, but it is possible. Guyana, the rain chance uh, going through the weekend. High and almost too high. Same thing in Suriname. That rain chance very high. Thinking of you if you're dealing with some of that flooding. Cuba, we're hot. Isolated showers and storms. Costa Rica and Panama, uh, 60 to 70 percent chance. Slightly higher in Panama. Honduras, it would be mainly inland interior sections with that chance of a shower. And right around Mexico City, 30 to 40 percent uh, chance outside of that eastern and western zones. We're on the dry and way too hot side. Rain chance Yucatan and Mexico at 20 percent through the weekend. And as we work our way through northern Venezuela, a 30 to 40 percent chance of some scattered showers bumping up with that tropical wave in our eastern sections. In Bermuda, we'll keep an eye on the system. Higher seas with Bermuda as this system will be lifting by. So a tropical wave moving into the Caribbean. It is the first one of the season that will bump up the rain chance through the weekend. And then uh, on top of that, today we're watching that tail end of the system over toward Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. The outlook is trending wetter, especially as we work our way into June. And I'm going to be diving into that further as you watch some of the videos as we go throughout the weekend. Hurricane season just days away and already things to track. I want to uh, thank you for being part of this channel, especially where uh, we've had some of the active weather this uh, week. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers and being part of this weather community, taking the time to subscribe. Have a good day ahead.